Hi everyone, and welcome to the iMeasureU STEP dashboard walkthrough. The STEP dashboard allows you to view and analyze any of the data you've collected through the STEP system. To access the dashboard, either go to imeasureu.com slash login, or click the dashboard link in your STEP desktop application. Select your athlete and the date using the menu on the left of the top of the screen, and select the specific session you want to analyze by clicking the summary card. Once you click the card, the dashboard will update based on the session. And the first graph you'll see is the step count intensity and bone loads. So bone load for the session is represented by the orange and blue lines, while step count is broken down into left and right um, by minute on the bars. You can also view the session info over on the right, and this will update based on what part of the session and what intensities you're looking at. So to view a specific footnote, click on the name of the footnote, and the graph will snap to that footnote and the session info will update. You also have the ability to filter out high, medium, and low intensities. So if you only wanted to view high intensities, you could deselect everything else or any combination of the three. Our next graph will show you left and right step count intensity uh, by bin. Once you hover over a specific bin, the session info will give you the left and right step count of that bin and the percent of the total step steps that took place in that bin. Similar to the graph above, you can snap to a specific footnote. You can customize what uh, portion of the session you're looking at, or you can view the whole session in total. Our next graph will show you all sessions by day broken down into the high, medium, and low step counts for each specific session, as well as the max bone load and the rolling average that you have the ability to customize uh, over in the session info to the right. You also have the ability to view this data by week or snap back to day and break it down by the high, medium, and low intensities for a specific day. You can brush to a custom uh, time span or view the entire uh, data set that you have as well as filter out high, medium, and low uh, intensities again. Our final graph is our uh, longitudinal asymmetry graph. So the way to read this is each box on the x-axis represents a session, and each box on the y-axis is an intensity bin. So you can view really quickly where you have uh, pronounced asymmetries by looking at the darkness of the blue or the orange. The darker blue or darker orange, the specific intensity bin is, the more asymmetrical that athlete was at that time. You can also filter by specific asymmetry. So if I wanna view only my bins that have greater than 70% asymmetry, I can snap to that as well. Finally, if you are using an AMS or performing uh, more detailed analysis, you have the ability to export a CSV file using the export button on the top right. If you have any questions on specific metrics or want to get in touch with a sports scientist, please email us at win at imeasureu.com and we'll be happy to chat.